Hi everybody, uh, it's Oleg over here. My last video was about this 3.0 TFSI engine Audi oil pump, original one. My last video I said I don't like those kind of pumps because it's too many little pieces like this. So this is definitely not a really good idea to keep this kind, those kind of pump. So I did some researches and I found out that 3.2 engines, which is it's pretty much pretty, pretty much it came from 3.0 TFSI engine was adopted, and early 3.0 TFSI engine got the same exact pump as a 3.2. So I have two pumps in here. This is the 3.0 TFSI, and this is 3.2. As you can see, offset and everything is everything is same. Just the pump itself is a little bit bigger. The pickup oil is exactly the same location, same height. You can see it's old school gear type of oil pump, which is can take abuse. Doesn't matter what kind of RPMs. Definitely can take 85,000 RPMs. This gear, gear type of the oil pump, and this piece of shit. So, thanks God. <clears throat> I love Audis. You can swap many, many stuff around different engines. So, we're looking for the best performance. Um, I guess I'm gonna be the only one who's gonna do that and test. On my forge block, it's right there, which is I'm building. So hopefully it will work. <laughs> okay, I just disassemble the pump. It's pretty simple. You can see one, two, three, four, four pieces in this section. And this is the 3.0 TFSI. Bunch of the stuff inside. Bunch of the little pieces plus plastic uh, uh, sack. Uh, sack section of the pump um, so not really like this stuff you see how massive massive is this it's like a lot bigger i guess it's it's gonna pump even more while of the oil i gotta take a look the working oil pressure on 3.0 fsi i mean fsi engine i'll take a look at that in a minute And we see which one, I mean by the eye you can see this is a lot better. So I'll put that definitely in. And uh, yeah, everything is, looks similar. Same gears, same tooth. It looks pretty much same. The only thing, this one is a little bit thicker and longer. This is the old 3.2 and this is the new one. So you can see the difference. It's a little bit longer. It's a bit longer and a little bit thicker. Full solid piece and this one is open inside. So that's the difference. All right. So I'm going to swap the pump and shaft on the timing chain the whole assembly with the gears and everything so I'm gonna keep it this way all right um, just before you ever if you gotta do this kind of swap make sure you take everything apart inspect everything for damage uh, this particular pump came with the whole kit that's all I needed for the swap. Even I have, I think I have the bolts. That's right. Even they sent me the bolts as well. I pick it up for hundred, I think hundred twenty dollars. So everything looks pretty good to me. Very good condition. Just clean everything up. You know, I open up the pump. You, you saw the, the another video. Uh, mechanically, this pump is really, really, really good shape. So. I'm definitely, 
I'm definitely gonna keep this pump. All right, so just I just put the pump. I just put the two bolts for now. Uh, everything lines up pretty well. The same offset of the uh, suction side uh, of the oil from the oil pan. And here's the assembly. Everything works. You can hear it. Oops, sorry. The only thing is the pump is a lot, a lot bigger. You can see it. So that's what I like. So let me take this out first for a second. Sorry. Let me take this out. I'm not sure if you can take it out with the with the shaft. Let's try. This is small, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I can. I'm able to take this out. All right, so just one minute, I'll show you the something. I really like, maybe not. <laughs> okay, here's the two pumps. Right? You can see the this one's like twice bigger than original one, so that's really good stuff. The section housing filter, it's aluminum, one piece. I love that. I hate the pl plastic pieces they put in here. Uh, the only thing is different, as you can see, two holes in here and one hole in here. Right, so this is your pressure regulator, oil pressure regulator, which is right here in the block. Same thing the 3.2 engine had, but for some reason they're using one hole only. And uh, yeah, I mean, I read the instructions and everything. Uh, if something the, the pump is gonna do full pressure all the time, like in the lower RPMs. This engine uh, 3.0 is draining the, the pressure back to like, I think it's one something or two bar, uh, or three bar, something like that. I have a picture, so I will attach it to the video. And without this, it should give the full pressure about four or five bar, even more, even more than that. And um, yeah, I would like to just keep the full pressure probably. And I'll, I could just drill the I mean, actually, no, I can do So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna double check everything, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it the way it is right now. I would like to see full pressure all the time at any RPMs, uh, which is a lot better, especially for the performance cars. And if you track your car a lot, you know, we need the full circulation, full pressure to the oil cooler, you know, to cool off the, the oil and lubricate all the moving the parts so yeah I think it's it's a good point as well so yeah we're good it's everything's bolt bolt on I'll see you guys later